Sonia, welcome back to my channel. It is a great day, and today is a day that we're gonna go clean together. I've got a lot of stuff that it's time to move it on. I paint a lot of stuff. Here in my storefront, all the things that I paint and I create and I show you guys how to do fun techniques all ends up here. And then it's like the tide rises and it seeps in and before you know it, you feel like you got no space. Things are everywhere. So today is a declutter video. You'll probably see some projects, maybe get inspiration for things that I've painted before that you have not seen. Typically once a quarter, I clean up my shop and I move it all over next door to my friend Mary's shop. She is a thrift store that's next door to me. I found some great stuff over there as well. So when you come visit the Junk Monkey, make sure you go say hello to her as well. She's right off our back parking lot, which how cool is that? I like to keep them around my shop for as long as I can, just as inspiration. So when people come in off the street and they're looking at, you know, should I do milk paint? Should I do chalky style paint? What color should I do? How does that finish feel? What can I do with a Poe? They get tons of inspiration, but it's time to weed it out. It's time to start fresh. It's time to reset everything because we got lots of stuff to paint and we need to make space for new things. Yeah, you wanna see my mountain of stuff? Like my mountain of stuff. Speaking of mountain of stuff, this is waiting for a pickup, but this is early in the day when I'm filming this, so it's gonna continue on throughout the afternoon. So if you can imagine, we do a lot of shipping right here. Junk Monkey at work. How's your day going, Adam? It's going wonderful. Woohoo! Look at him pack that glaze. Everything is hand packed. Hand packed with love, right, Adam? Yep, a ton of it. So here's my plan of attack. I'm going to open the door. Thank goodness it's a nice day outside. I am going to bring all said things out to the front porch. That will make more space in here. And then I'll begin the process of tagging everything. Oh, I got so much stuff to price. Who remembers when I painted the old woman and we did the wooden distressed frame? I have no idea. Even that, we just don't share the same love of art. Big eyes and what he calls creepy things sometimes. My traffic jam outside is causing some problems for the mail carrier today because, <laughs> yeah. This is what happens with your happy mail. Labor of love, let me just tell you that. I've created an obstacle court. Whoops, you good? That's okay. See, I eat my foot's in the way. Because everything has sat for so long in here, and I'm always sanding, there's always dust. And this is a small place, so it gets a lot of use. A lot of use. So I move everything outside. I'm taking a can of my monkey shine, and I'm just kind of buffing over everything. Just kind of like, you know, clean it off, make it nice and spiffy and shiny. I just did that load outside. All that stuff is all shined up and polished up and ready to go on to the next store floor to be sold. Everybody's gotten lots of inspiration from it at, from it at this point. I've got more stuff to paint and create and I gotta make space, I gotta make space. One thing I've learned uh, after being a painter for over a decade is to not get attached to furniture, to understand that furniture is a dime a dozen, you can find it anywhere, and you have to move it along, right? We paint to be able to bring joy to other people, and so I want other people to be able to get joy from that. I've had a ton of people already just coming up on my storefront, steps um, already picking over my junk, my treasures. When we gut out things, we also make room for more. Right now, I. I am going to begin the process of putting tags on everything. I'm going to sit here with my Sharpie, my scissors, and some sticky tags. Hey you, what's your name? Dusty. Dusty, oh my gosh, look at you. Does that sunshine feel good? Yeah, oh your fur feels warm, huh? Okay, let me ask your opinion. If you were a gigantor, a gigantic Bahama Jade, gorgeous, shabby hutch, where would you want to live in this space? Back corner, you think? Should we put a hutch on either side and maybe have the... Uh, yeah, like a nice yeah, like one on each side? Yeah. And put, yeah, I like that. Okay, let's make it happen. And clean out all the clutter and take down the Christmas tree. Ta-da! Oh, the power of TV and video, right? Well, I just wish it magically appeared there, but thank you to the help of Matt and Adam with their big strong muscles. I love it. Every time I like paint something in Bahama Jade, it just reminds me how much I love it. So I'm just gonna clean this guy up. He's a little bit dusty down there. 
and then use him, use him for storage. I think this is where I'm kind of going to end my day here today, right here. And then you guys are going to have to come back and this week over the next few days I will do a shop tour and take you all the way around my store and show you how I display things and just kind of give you a walkabout, right? Wouldn't that be fun? It would be. It would be? What are you working you just, on? You just have to... I'm working on a Canada order, actually. Nice! This is all going to Canada. Woohoo! One person's order to give you an idea. How many cans of paint do we have in here? One, two, three, four, five, twenty. You know that off the top of your head. Holy moly! The front has been all cleaned off. Oh my gosh, we got through that big, big load. I've got some more as well to get over to her tomorrow. Living the creative life and couldn't be happier. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Make sure you tune in again tomorrow for another great video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Was this a fun video? Would you like me to make more of these kinds of behind the scenes videos with you guys? Because I'd love to do that if you're game for it. So let me know below. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.